Hi everyone, let's begin research schedule proposal, how we have to prepare research schedule through the, with the help of the Gantt chart function. So let me explain you how you have to prepare this kind of time schedule when you are going to submit your research project or seed money project or any sort of the project. So how you have to plan your research activities. So this is the chart. This is the basically bar diagram we had prepared manually, but how we have to prepare this bar diagram through our studio. So I will use, there is a function, there's the gantt.chart function. So how you have to run this, let me explain you one by one. So let me finish this, all these panes and uh, let me finish this pane also at fresh, we are going to start. So how you have to use, let me, first of all, you are going to start. There is a one important function, one important package we require that is Plotrix, right? So first of all, you are going to install this function. So I'm just installing this function. There is the so many ways through which you are going to install this function. And uh, this one is the, you have to write plot rix r i x so you are going to install first this function because already that is installed in my um, this uh, our studio so that is why it is giving this the, the, these are the statements and after that you have to call to the library this plot rix and you have to run this so library i had called after that there is the one more package i required that is lubricate so let me run i will again install how you have to install either you have to run this again otherwise you have to write install packages and after that you have to write here is again lubri right you have to write lubri date because we require all the dates, how we have to run this flow diagram. And uh, after that, again, we have to call after installing this package. It will take a few seconds, a few minutes in your case, because I had already installed. Then you have to run this library. After that, first of all, we should understand what do you mean by this Gantt chart? So question mark, if you would like to know about any packages so simply what you have to do you have to here is this is the question mark and after that you have to write write that particular package gantt chart right so after that you have to so you can see here on the right hand side now complete description about this display gent right this is the chart so you can see these are the arguments are x lim null test colors and each and everything has been given here right all these v grid formats right height level arguments all the formats task colors right our vector of the colors used to illustrate task priorities priority legends right and uh, this is the optional positions of the vertical grid lines and uh, vertical grid labs, each and everything would be. And border dot colors also, you apart from this, uh, these uh, bar colors, apart from this, you can give them border colors also. But I have not used, but you can use in your arguments. So what we have to do, first of all, how you will prepare this kind of uh, bar chart, let me, I have to press this plots. Uh, first of all, I had created, there is the one variable that is task. So all these functions I'm going to use, all these coding I'm going to save in this task. Let me, I had written here, you can see task, right? Here is, first of all, what we have to do, task list and bracket open. Under this labels, and see, right, 
all these characters recruit recruitment of staff first is my recruitment of staff then literature review designing of the questionnaire data collection data analysis and report compilation all this process i required and start ymd stands for you can see ymd stands for y stands for year m stands for month day stands for day so that format we are going to follow ymd so you can see 2021 seven months means july and first of july so i had given when i started my project and after that all the dates i had mentioned over there these are the start dates of each and every 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 phase and then this is the ends again we are going to use ymd function and in this again we have to write all these dates then after that priorities priorities here is we have to combine c11211 all these priorities then after that i had closed my bracket then i have to run this so you can see i have run this complete function and uh, after that i am going to use v grid v grid pause and again ymd right so i'm going to use these dates and i will run this function also then after that what i have to do simply y grid labs means i want to give them some character characters what they are representing so right this month is july this is august this is september this is october and uh, this one is the last month is february in december in february so let me run this so now and now i have to run this because all these things are put in this variable so now you can see what would be the output you can see dollar levels these are my levels dollar start these are my start dates and after that dollar ends these are my end dates and these are my priorities so what i have to do now i want to draw this gantt chart so i will use these arguments task v grid pause equal to i said v1 right v2 and uh, priority legends and uh, there is i think i should use rather than v1 and uh, this so i will use right v grid g r i grid here is pause and here is i'm going to use v grid labs right and priority legends equal to true hybrid equal to true xlim ymd as date right what is my start date initial date and last date and task colors i want blue color only so let me run this so now you can see this is the my you can see here uh this is the this is my uh, recruitment of staff in the month of july the teacher review designing of the questionnaire data collection data analysis and this is the report compilation let me zoom this and in that way same flow diagram what i had prepared here right in that way because i had um, uh, paper publications part that i had missed but rest of the parts i had used so in same way you can and prepare the same chart in your r studio and simply what you have to do uh, here is after that when you are zooming this and after that simply press right click then copy image and after that wherever you want to paste in your project report you have to press here so in that way you can prepare uh, this uh, research schedule of for your projects for your projects whatever the projects you people are running you can mention over there so keep watching i'm sure this video would be helpful to you thank you keep watching